Hey you guys, Beth Bittavi here, and uh, don't worry about all the stuff going on in the background. John brought home a bunch of crazy stuff from work, that's why there's like a bunch of mannequin legs and arms back there. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to do with those, so they're just in the middle of our living room right now. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and I'm actually getting ready to clean, but I wanted to record this and leave this to render while I'm cleaning. So. Just ignore the mess. I'm getting ready to go clean my apartment. <laughs> um, so I haven't done a like straightforward favorites video like this since the end of November. Um, so I have a couple of different items to talk about today. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, so I'm just going to start off with face products. The first fa face product that I'm loving right now is the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. Um, I am in the color Mont Blanc. And I actually have this on today. Uh, and I topped it with my Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation from MAC. Um, but I really, really love this. I love the finish it gives a lot. Um, I've tried topping it lots of different ways with HD powders, with just regular setting powders. No matter how I would do it, I like it a lot. So that is my favorite for the month. I've been wearing it um, on and off, and that's because I've also been trying out other foundations. Um, my favorite first impression of the month, and I'm going to try to do this uh, on a regular basis now that I'm sampling a lot of different things, trying to find my Holy Grail foundation, because as much as I love the NARS Sheer Matte, I I still want to try other things. I'm not completely happy with it. Um, it's I love it though. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep using it, I'm using it like every other day. But this is the this is a sample of the new Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, I really really love that foundation. I have it in Fair. It offers an amazing amount of coverage. The texture is really really nice, and I feel like it keeps me from getting shiny. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about, and I have to do some more testing to figure out if it's like actually happening is I've had a couple of clients complain that it gets darker on their face throughout the day um, one of which even said she is using a primer so I have to keep testing that because I haven't noticed it much on me um, but I've had other people complain that it's too yellow so I don't know I'm just I'm testing that first impressions though I really really like that foundation two products for the face that are powders are the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer you guys have all seen this I love this I was kind of late in the game getting this but uh, I love it a lot and then this one, on the opposite end of the price scale, is a Jordana blush in Coral Sandy Beach. Um, I'm gonna actually open it to make sure you guys don't have a glare. Um, so it is just like this really pretty um, coral, peachy, golden toned color. Um, I'm not quite sure what I would call this a dupe for. I guess it would be a possible dupe for orgasm, but I'm not sure. I got to, I need to actually swatch them and see how they look on the skin next to each other. The next category is a bunch of eye products. I have a ton of them. Um, so I'm just gonna list off my Mad Styles colors. I don't really need to explain why the Mad Style colors are my favorites. You guys know I'm constantly trying out a ton of new ones. Um, so I'm just gonna actually list them off there because you're not gonna be able to see them very well anyways. Um, there's Winter Rose, King Moon Racer, Spotted Elephant, Dirty Chai, and Yukon Cornelius. Other items, I have the Models Own Pigment in Neon Blue. Um, as you guys can tell, this was a blue month for me. <laughs> and I used this in my recent Take Me to the Club tutorial. The Cruelty Free Cosmetics Color Silver Taupe. Uh, I love this one over Awesome Sauce. It just gets this beautiful, beautiful color. Um, it's a very good everyday color too. And then the Sephora Color um, Aspen Summit. This is a brilliant inner corner highlight. Um, on days when I get done with my makeup and I still feel like I just look tired, I just pop that on the inner corner. I probably need it right now, to be honest. <laughs> and I just feel like it really wakens up my face. The last item here was actually a sample that was sent to me by Mo, and it is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Um, this is another like first impression favorite. Um, I've been trying this in comparison to my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and in the past Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Um, I like that this has more of a color correction type of property to it. Um, I feel like it dries quickly, it goes on well. I have it on today. Um, I haven't had a chance to really extensively test it through like club wear or anything like that. Um, so this is not a review, it's just a first impressions favorite. Um, and then the last two eye products here are the NYC Showtime uh, Waterproof Mascara. I know I've talked about this before, um, but I recently and just threw it on the floor. I recently wore it again and I was just like amazed by how much I still love it. So I wanted to bring it up again because it is just such a good mascara and it's only like two bucks. So definitely one you should definitely try out and at least see if it works for you. And I got mine at Walmart. So I know their policy, I'm pretty sure if you hate it, you can take it back. Um, I think you might only be able to get store credit though. I don't know. 
Um, and the last item I actually very, very recently got, but I am like over the moon about it. It is the Tokidoki Perfecto Eyeliner in Sabuchan. Again, I'm late getting into the Tokidoki bandwagon. Um, I've always loved the artwork, but it's just one of those things where it wasn't very accessible to me. Accessible? Accessible? But now that I like, I have several different products from them, and so far I haven't found anything I didn't like. I'm actually wearing this today, um, both as my eyebrows and as my liner. And then the purple eyeshadow I have on is their color Killer Candy, and below the eye is Blue Candy by MAC. So, Candy Eyes. I might have to do a tutorial and just call it Candy Eyes. <laughs> uh, the last products here, I have some lip products, and then I have skincare, and then I have one special effects favorite. My favorite lip products right now are NARS Blonde Venus. Um, it is just, it looks very, very dark here in the tube but it looks amazing on my lips. I love it. It like it really complements the natural rosy f flavor, ro rosy color of my uh, lips. I cannot talk. Last lipstick here is um, Kat Von D's Color Celebutard. Um, this is obviously one of the mini lippies. I really love this color. It's a slightly like peachy, rosy, nude color. So again, this looks really, really good with my natural lip tone. So again, that would look amazing if you have naturally rosy lips. I don't have to like cover my lips or anything to wear either of those. Um, my favorite gloss at the moment is the Smashbox Lip Enhancing Gloss. Sheer color <laughs> in the color Glow. Um, this is a mini one. This came in one of their kits, but as you can see, it has like the regular doe foot applicator. And it's just like this really pretty pinky peachy color. Um, it's pretty sheer. It does offer a little bit of color to the lips, but it feels really, really nice when you wear it. Um, I don't remember how sticky it is, and I have on a sticky gloss right now, so I can't tell you because I can't try it. As far as skincare, well, this one's kind of skincare. This is the new Bath & Body Works scent, Pink Chiffon. Um, these, this is one of the little dollar bottles they offer when they launch a new scent. If you haven't tried it yet and you like like girly, flirty smells, I would go try this out. Um, I did notice that it gets a little too floral on me, but most scents do. But in general, I just find it very feminine and like a touch sexy. Not overly sexy, but definitely a good a good scent to launch with Valentine's Day coming up. Um, also, I've been using two new skincare products. I might, I might have talked about them recently. The first one is Hope in a Jar. I've been using this on my face. Um, it's really, really good with my skin, despite the fact that I have combination oily skin. Um, but I can't stand the smell. I'm gonna keep using it if it tells you anything about how awesome it is, um, but I hate the smell. And I, most people don't really notice it. Um, it's kind of like a divided thing where either you notice it and you're like, oh my god, or you like don't even, it's completely not even there to you. So, I don't know. To me it smells very chemically, chemical-y, but I, it's, it's too amazing to pass up. It feels really good on my skin. And then the next thing, I have depotted some samples here that I was given of the I hope um, I put them in a the little jar because using them in here I feel like I waste a lot um, so I just squeeze it out into here instead um, but that's the I hope by philosophy and that is absolutely amazing um, I was using skin Icelandic um, and I like that a lot too but I have switched over to this because I feel like I'm starting to have to worry about fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. And I'm really bummed out about it and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> They're there despite whether or not you can see them on camera. A lot of people are like, you're too young, stop worrying about it. No, you really should start using some type of anti-aging eye cream in your 20s, like early 20s before your wrinkles start. Um, you need to start paying attention to that kind of stuff before you start to notice a problem. And the last items are something you wouldn't even think of, but it's the Mad Style Cosmetics Secondary Matte Stack. Um, and so these are three matte colors, which is what makes them work so well for this. Um, there's an orange, a purple, and like a medium toned green. Now the reason why you wouldn't think to use these for what I'm using them for, this is the Ben Nye Death Wheel. So there aren't these exact same colors in here, but do you see the purple, the green, and it's not quite an orange, but there's like this weird fleshy sicky color. These three work really, really well in special effects makeup. I actually used those three colors in the um, tarantula shoot that I did with Movie Town Photography, and it worked really, really well for that. Um, they're matte, so you don't have to worry about getting a bunch of shimmer or anything like that. 
um, and it just works really well. They blend well. They just they're just the right colors. Um, they're really good for like making a sickly, deathly appearance. So um, obviously, they're also really bright and pretty. And I also use them in a Valentine's Day look. So they're very versatile. Um, but for those of you in special effects makeup who are interested in that kind of thing, it's only like ten or twelve dollars for the stack and it's three colors you're definitely going to use for any type of death or zombie or sickly look. So, um, check that out. I know, like I said, I'm really late getting on the whole Tokidoki bandwagon, but, um, uh, my favorite brushes and palettes this month also come from Tokidoki. So, um, my favorite brushes are the Patero Trio. Uh, I believe these are a permanent item. I don't think they're a special edition or anything. Um, so these should always be at Sephora or at Sephora.com. Um, it's the three brushes for $32 or $35. I don't remember how much. Um, and what it is, is the Donatella brush is a um, angled eyeliner brush. As you can see, mine is quite dirty. Uh, it starts off with a pink tip. I haven't washed it yet, so I don't know um, if I'm going to get back my pink color or not. Uh, there is the, um, it's like a flat shader brush, and that is with Latte on top. And I realize these are probably going to be fuzzy because I'm putting them closer to the camera. That was stupid. And the last one is like a fluffy crease slash blending brush. Um, and this is Adios. So, um, I know several of the other, um, like Mad Cats and everybody have these because they are synthetic, which is nice. Um, and I don't think they were tested on animals at any point. So, um, yeah. They could probably comment better than I can on whether or not they're going to return to their original color because this one was blue tipped. This one, uh, this one wasn't, I don't think this one had any sort of coloration on the tip. And then this one was pink. So, we'll see. The last favorite is the Tokidoki Robbery Palette. Um, I'm seeing giant glare, so I hope I'm not blinding you guys at home. <laughs> uh, so it comes in this cute little tin, and it actually had a magnet on the front, but the magnet's on my fridge now, and it's a super strong magnet. Um, and then inside of the Robbery Palette, there is a mirror at the top, and then three mini palettes. And I'm gonna grab those out of here so that I'm not blinding you the whole time I'm trying to show them to you. Um, I've actually started doing a series with these. Uh, this one is already up, so I'll be sure to link it below. This is the, um, I don't remember all the names for these. I think this is just the Royal Pride palette, um, and this is kind of a more neutral, everyday wearable type of palette. Um, I don't know how you guys are going to be able to see that, so I'll just keep moving it around. Then the one in the middle is the um, Ar Arlecchino palette, I think. And this one has Soya, Candy Cane, uh, Ninja Dog, and Medio, or Medio, with the Momobella blush, which is really, really pretty. Uh, it's kind of similar to the Jordana blush, but not as dark. Um, a little more golden -y, I guess. And then the last one is the Adios one. Um, I don't remember the name of the actual palette, but this is the one based off of Adios. Um, this one's also really, really beautiful. I've already tested a look for a tutorial, and this one has um, Liberty, Bullets, LA Gun, Adios, and then the blush, I can't pronounce this, Pulpatina? Yeah, I don't know. So, that is my last favorite for the month. I will try to remember to list everything with prices and or links in the down bar below. I don't promise anything, so that's going to take a while. Um, and I will see you guys next month. Bye.